He's here to serve and protect your pets. Here's your look at the new NECA Toys Ace Ventura Pet Detective Retro Cloth Ace Ventura. Alrighty then, Ace Ventura comes included with three interchangeable heads, a parrot, a monkey, a dove, and a life-size replica of his personal business card. Reckon the first thing we're gonna do, yes, I've said reckon, very top of Ace Ventura's head, the retro cloth version of Ace Ventura, the figure stands, according to the Ultra Megatron 5000, at eight inches tall. It's right there, you don't believe me? Look, it's right there, eight. 8.0 inches in height. We're gonna go ahead and switch up the centimeters, didn't mean to be so dramatic there for a second. Centimeters you're looking at, my friends, muchachos, 20.3 centimeters tall. For a retro cloth figure, Ace Ventura actually gets a fair bit of accessories. Why don't we first have a look? Where do we want to start? Let's start here. The smallest, maybe perhaps we'll do it this way, the smallest working our way up to the largest. He comes included here with a rescue card, a re receipt of rescue card to be exact. It says, you've been had by Ace Ventura, pet detective. It's small. It's cardboard as well, and like anything else that's cardboard, it's very susceptible to fraying. In all honesty, while it's nice that we do get a receipt of rescue card, I also would have loved to have gotten a smaller Ace Ventura card, kind of similar to this one right here. Included with the figure as well, don't worry, I'm going to go back to that receipt of rescue. You also get included an Ace Ventura Pet Detective to serve and protect your pets. Uh, life-size, now they say life-size business card. The way that Ace Ventura is holding the card, I don't know, it does seem like it's a little on the small side. I feel like it could be, well, a standard business card would be just a little bit higher, a little bit longer. But it is apparently an accurate scale, according to the packaging of the Ace Ventura uh, business card that he has in the movie. The back side, again, it's just cardboard. Uh, there's nothing really overly exciting. I guess, I guess, if anything, you could display it in front of the figure or maybe behind the figure, but, but he does come included with that. Again, I would have loved if he had gotten a smaller version. I'm gonna talk about this now in a second. I will, I, I will. I uh, wish he could have come also with a smaller version of this so he could have actually put it in his hand. Okay, now we're going to talk about the thing I'm going to want to talk about before I know I'm going to forget all about it. If you do want to put, say, the card in his hand, now granted, this isn't the card from the movie poster, but I just also want to show you that, sadly, he doesn't come with the appropriate sized or shaped hands to really actually hold the card. You could bend the card, I suppose. I mean, again, the longevity of this being cardboard is probably not going to last for many a year. But unfortunately, he doesn't really have proper hands to hold the card. Instead, he sort of just sort of just sits, just floppy, loosey-goosey, all in his hands. This hand is sort of like the same ideas. Kind of wish that they could have also included a appropriate hand for gripping things like his card. I suppose if you wanted to, you could heat the fingers out, heat the thumb so you could get a further gap from themselves, and then kind of wedge the card in between. But when, needless to say, when it's all said and done, he doesn't actually come with the Ace Ventura card anyways. It's just like, like I said, it's a receipt of rescue. We're going to put the figure back down for a second. Don't worry, there's going to be still a whole lot more to look at. He does also come included. Let me just pick this up here for a second. He does also come included with the Finkel's team photo. There it is right there. You can see all the X's all through it. Wait a minute. Finkel is Einhorn? Einhorn is Finkel? <laughs> Oh, Ace Ventura was such a funny movie back in the day. Not the sequel. The sequel really wasn't as good. But uh, again, a little small recreation of Finkel's team photo. Again, it's just a just a cardboard backing. It's not framed. I mean, it's even if it's something he carried around with him, um, there's really no other place you could put it when you are displaying it with a figure. I guess, if anything, you could put it, you can sort of wedge it in between his hand, but it's sort of the same problem as the business card. It just... The hands aren't suited for holding really anything. Uh, in fact, when we look at the, the animals, the various animals he comes included with, none of them actually sit where he's holding on to them. I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. Put that also to the side. I'm sure those things will be lost, guaranteed. Most definitely guaranteed those things are going to get lost. Why don't we actually talk a little bit about 
the various animals, three to be exact. He comes with a monkey, he comes with a parrot, and he also comes with a dove. Now, I think that's actually more a macaw, but far be it for me to, you know, get down to the basics of it. He does come with a little tiny monkey. Uh, the monkey does have what looks to be a little bit of posability in the head. Uh, not really much, though, in the way of the arms. It sort of is misleading. It seems like it wants to move, and then just ultimately it doesn't. And then he does also have a tail, which squeaks and creaks and makes all the other noises that you would want a figure like this to have. Um, the monkey, like I said, is very nicely detailed, and equally so, very nicely painted as well. Now, this will fit when you are displaying the figure. It could fit really on both sides if you wanted to. It sort of just sits on top of his shoulder. I mean, I guess if you wanted to, you could probably maybe somewhat prop it onto his arm. I guess you could fit it in between, like you could fit. It looks like the monkey is sort of just hanging on for dear life, though. Um, it is better suited, really, to put it around his, around his head like that. And actually, being that the tail is reversible, you could put it on this side as well. Actually, the back of the packaging has him, has the monkey on this side. I do actually find it seems to hold better. It does seem to hold a little bit more securely, though a little bit more on an angle if you have it on that side, but it doesn't really matter. It, you know, you can do really whatever, whatever you want. He does also come with a parrot. Again, it kind of looks like a macaw. I'm no bird expert, but I'm going to guess, I'm going to say it looks like a macaw. The macaw is angled downward, and it sort of falls into that same sort of any time a bird is released for figure as an accessory. I'm thinking also of like Shipwreck from G.I. Joe. It sort of all works the exact same way. You're just kind of clipping it onto whatever is wide enough to fit the clearance of the hands or the claws. The talons, would they be talons? The macaw is nicely detailed here, cast in probably a red and painted then on top of that in the yellow and the blue. Even like the little eye area, a little speck of black is added there for his eye. It allows the bird to see. And we always want birds to be able to see. It allows them to also fly. Blind birds would be a little bit more trickier to... Anyways, you also get included a dove. A cute little soft, cuddly dove. All done here in white plastic. A little bit uh, of the orange done on its feet. And bloop, bloop, specks of black on either side for its eyes. Now, if you want to put all of that together... Uh, what you can do is just take the monkey. I'm going to swing it around this side here. The monkey can sit on top of Ace's shoulders. You can kind of get the tail going here. There we go. It seems the more times I'm doing this, the looser that poor monkey is getting. There we go. We get the macaw going. That's on its shoulders, on his arm, I should say. And then as for the dove, I mean, there's really no place that the dove clips tabs or staples itself to. Don't ever staple a dove. Um, so instead you sort of just prop it onto his hand. And that is the desired look if you want to have him with the animals. Songs little animals, well you can really do whatever you want, but that's what you want. That's the look. That's the snapshot. That's the thumbnail you'd want to use. If you make thumbnails, frame your thumbnails and display them in your room. That's the look you want to go with. So they all work well. I mean, nothing really seems to uh, not sit properly on him. Like, if anything, like I said, the dove is really the biggest, only because the dove really is just sitting on his hand. That's all it does. One thing that is the problem, though, of course, things always falling off. That's a big problem. But one thing that's also a big problem with this particular figure is the same problem I have with most retro cloth figures. It's his ankles. And I'll talk a little bit more about his ankles, but the big problematic issue with these is because they have no ball joints or the means to really rotate at the ankles, I find a lot of times even adding this additional stuff, not that you would consider animals to be stuff, but if you would add this extra stuff to him, it does add a little bit of extra top heaviness and the figure then falls over. He already, there you go. I mean, that worked perfectly, the timing of all of that. It does cause the figure to fall forward frequently. And a lot of the big issue, once again, is the same problem I'm always having with these retro cloth figures. Once again, their feet, they're not flat. I mean, you, you know, you can twist, you can twist the legs outward to kind of give them a, a wider stance, but it always seems like the feet are on, a, on an angle. You can kind of hopefully see it for yourself. They never sit firmly planted. Even when you think you got it firmly planted, the figure then ultimately, yes, yes, producers, no, 
Okay, no, it's not, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, the figure just has a real tough time standing, like every other retro cloth figure. Uh, that being said, it's a, it's a decent looking rendition of one of Jim Carrey's, I believe one of Jim Carrey's first movies. He had done a couple of movies before that, but this is sort of like his sounding board, his starting point to his movie career as Ace Ventura Pet Detective. And again, a decent rendition of him. He sort of gets the vibes of more of a cartoonier version of Ace Ventura than it does like a realistic Ace Ventura. But I mean, it sort of hits those marks, things that you would want the figure to look and have and possess. It certainly does have that. It does have like the smile and the facial expression of Jim Carrey. But again, it kind of gets that little bit more of a cartoon look to it. He's got the one big waving swirl of hair course the iconic look for Ace Ventura is that little slick I say little this huge wave of hair that jets itself up like that and curls itself off to the back now he does have three various different looks let me just show you the different head sculpts um, he has this one I don't know if this would be the Luhu Zeher or the already then possibly I, I don't know but it's, I feel like this one right here could be the weakest head sculpt of the three. Now, you're, you're only looking at two. Somebody's, what about the third one? What about the third one? What about the third one? Let's, let's just hold. There we go. And grab the other head sculpt. There's the other one right there. This one's kind of ridiculous, but it sort of, again, captures for me the look of Ventura. Really, of the three, this one right here, I think, is the better of the three. This is the best of the lot. Now again, I like this one. Kind of really channels a little bit of Popeye in there a bit. Uh, but those are the three various head sculpts. Now, if you want to change any one of those, let's say you're not content with the defaulted, you're really just going to pop the head off. I find like the ball joint is a lot more forgiving this go around than uh, some of the other retro cloth figures that we've looked at. It seems always the case that they're harder to put on than, of course, they are to take off, but that goes without saying. There's the defaulted head once again. There's this head sculpt, and uh, there, again, is that head sculpt right there. I kind of like this one. I don't know. It's ridiculous. It's over the top, but it's good. It's still good. It's not, my, it's not the one I'm going to display the figure with. That award, if it was to get an award or one of those, you just did good work, you know, participation ribbon. The participation ribbon would go to this one as the one I'm going to display it with. Again, those are your three various looks. Okay. Uh, as for his outfit, he is sporting a sleeveless uh, white shirt, white t-shirt. Uh, of course, his trademark Ace Ventura uh, tropical shirt. It's been tailored pretty decently as well, short-sleeved. Uh, he's also sporting a watch right there. And of course, the could not forget, how could you possibly forget this entire outfit? The striped pants alternating in dark pink, kind of like a dark reddish color and a lighter red. And he's got also his belt really, really high on the waist, really high. And then all the way down to his boots, there are the Ace Ventura boots. Again, big problem with these. I wish that they could have been utilizing ball joints by this by this part of the game. It's really the one detractor I always have with these retro cloth figures. Loving overall, not loving so much down here. Uh, they really only keep them only to hinges. And as you can see, I mean, those, those feet just don't want to sit completely flat. Alrighty. Alrighty indeed, his articulation is the following. He's got a ball joint. It looks to be like he's got a double ball joint, like a dumbbell ball joint going on in there. So his head rotates all the way around. Angles back and forth quite nicely, up and down. Uh, his sh shoulders hinge out. There we go, to that, to that extent, to that extent. Uh, you can move him all the way around technically, but it will twist around the fabric in his shirt. Does have the bend in the elbow, the wrist swivel, a uh, waist swivel, legs split, forward and back, bend at the knee, single bend, single bend. And then once again, that hinge, oh, just, it's the, yeah, I know. I, Sound like a broken record. Finish my sentence, says the mob. Okay, finishing my sentence, I respond to the mob. It's the one detractor again to these figures. If not for that, Ace Ventura would be a solid release from NECA Toys. Again, I just wish that they could do something different to their ankles. Populate, incorporate a ball joint, if you will, 
but just standard hinge joints, causes these feet to kind of sit like this. And that certainly sitting like this won't allow a figure to stand like this for very long. Ace doesn't do humans, but I'm certainly glad that this figure was done by the folks over at NECA Toys. I was a big fan of the original Ace Ventura. It's really over the top. It's not aged well, but I think it's still a fun movie to go back to as one of the earlier films for actor Jim Carrey. Uh, the retro cloth figures are always a surprise to collectors because every once in a while NECA Toys will release a character where it's like, wow, I never really thought a figure company would ever release, insert character's name, here. Uh, this is a case, though, because, once again, they're utilizing only the same molds for their underbodies. Really tailoring outfits and just retooling a new head is a much more cost-saving measure than producing an outright brand new mold for the entire body. So that's why we normally get so many of these retro cloth figures with the more quote-unquote obscure figures that you wouldn't normally think would hit mass market. For the mass market appeal for figures like this, it's a bit of a gamble for NECA to be releasing a Ace Ventura a pet detective in a retro cloth figure form. But at least, again, it's much cheaper to produce this than producing the entire figure in all plastic. Overall, I like the figure. Um, it still has the problems, as you can probably see here in final looks. That one foot just doesn't want, actually, neither, neither foot really wants to sit flat. Uh, moving forward, certainly something that they could really look at doing is changing the feet out altogether and replacing them with ball joints. Then you could at least angle and tilt the feet until you have a fir firm planting and the figure's not going to fall over. Of the other accessories, he does come with a fair share. Uh, I do like the inclusion of, for example, the Finkel team photo and, again, the, uh, the receipt of rescue card, even though really, technically, you can't really hold either one of them in his hand. He comes with a, a parrot macaw he comes with a dove and he comes with a monkey all of which i didn't do here in final looks just because we started the review with that so there's a couple of various different ways that you can display the figure and of course there's the three various interchangeable head sculpts to boot as well either way if you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself uh, good news is that you can find the Ace Ventura Pet Detective Retro Cloth figure in retail stores and comic book stores right now. If you guys have managed to pick this one up for yourself, let me know down below in the comments section what you think of the figure, or really just based on this review. What do you think in your final looks you think of the figure itself? Let me know down below. I always like reading new comments from you guys. Also, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below, because certainly more videos like this will be coming soon to this channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.